and a very good morning to all of you and welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. So as we all know, uh, daily from Monday to Thursday, 11 a.m. in the morning, we come up with the Hindu analysis. Uh, today is 17th April, that is Monday, Aaj Monday 17th April hai, and we are here with the Hindu analysis of 17th April. So if I am audible, just write in the comment section, yes sir, you are audible, so that we can start our session. Meri awaz are you guys? Okay, so ask ki kuch important articles we will be just discussing. Uh, so I hope you are aware ek pe article thi. I mean, uh, this was actually CBI uh, summoned Delhi Chief Minister Mr. Arvind Kejriwal for questioning regarding excise and all. So uh, just have an idea, isme ab kuch khas batane ko nahi hai. Uh, just, I mean, uh, so that is what you should be doing. Or I have already discussed that. Uh, what is the motto of CBI? We have already discussed these things. When was it formed? And who is the director of CBI? And, uh, these things I have already discussed in the previous classes. So that is why I am not going in detail. Yes, uh, there are some politics over it. We are not going in detail about it. So just have an idea. Whenever, let's say, any agency is in news. So you are supposed to just read about that. For example, ED Enforcement Directorate is in the news. So go and read. It is under which ministry, which department. Uh, then uh, who is the director of that and all okay what is the motto of that so right now cbi is in the news so go and read it who is the what is the motto of it we have already discussed it so that is why i'm not going in detail who is the director under which ministry under which ministry cbi operates so go and find out these things or which department under which department cbi or central bureau of investigation operates and all okay so just have an idea about that okay then there was an article about this uh, uh, killing of Atik and his brother and all. So, we, uh, I mean, I hope you are aware, everyone uh, actually is aware of these news. So, I am not going in detail about it. You must have gone through these news. Uh, but yes, uh, some legal aspect, yes, uh, the government has set up a three-member uh, judicial commission in this regard. Judicial commission. Now, whenever the word judicial commission is mentioned, it is actually the commission which is comprising of either the sitting or retired judges, right? Judicial commission means, uh, the word itself says, self-explanatory. So basically a three-member uh, commission, so uh, led by the chairman of that commission would be a former judge or retired, R-E-T-T means -T retired, okay, retired Allahabad High Court judge. Okay, so what is his name? His name is Justice Arvind Kumar Tripathi. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Justice Arvind Kumar Tripathi, uh, here it is mentioned, so I am not writing it again. And there are two other judges also, uh, uh, Judge uh, Brijesh Kumar Soni and former uh, Director General of Police, Subesh Kumar Singh. Okay, so uh, one uh, uh, retired High Court judge, then another judge is a member and a DGP, ex-DGP, Director General of Police of UP. Anna? So, uh, just have an idea about it. So, DGP is actually considered as one of the senior most post in IPS, Indian Police Service. Okay. So, there are three members. Uh, the chairman is, the chairman is the retired High Court judge. Okay. Then, uh, there is another judge who is a member. And, yes, a retired judge, that is also. And, uh, ex-DGP, ex-Director General of Police or you can say ex-IPS officer, uh, retired IPS. So, these three are the members. The chairman is actually the retired High Court judge. His name is Justice Arvind Kumar Tripathi. Okay, just have an idea about it. Uh, no need to go in detail. Uh, then, yes, uh, so section 144 of CRPC were uh, invoked, where actually assembly of more than four people, na? four or more people in an area is not allowed. Assembly means four people can't stand in one place. Okay, that is the meaning of that. Uh, to ensure that, uh, I mean, uh, there should not be any, uh, I mean, uh, any incident or any untoward incident to avoid that CRPC 144 has been actually uh, invoked by the police in that area. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Ab isme zyada detail nahi jana hai. Uh, no need to go in detail. Aksa Kalam, we'll, we are running an MHCT series that was be beneficial for JMI as well. Okay, ah. after MHCT we will plan. Okay, okay. We'll, uh, we'll think of it and then we'll, we'll let you know. Okay. Uh, so, we are running a CLAT 2024 comprehensive course. The exam is in December. I hope you are aware. So, you are left with hardly 7-8 months. So, you should go for this course. 300 plus recorded videos, 300 plus hours of live session, 35 plus mock tests, etc. are there. If you have any question, call on this number. 
9538986789568 पर कॉल कर सकते हैं एंड देन वी आर रनिंग अ लास्ट लैप टू एमएचसीटी 2023 ए टू जेड रिवीजन सीरीज ऑन फ्रॉम मंडे टू संडे सो दिस विल नॉट ओनली बी हेल्पफुल इन एमएचसीटी फॉर जेएमआई सीयूईटी फॉर अदर एग्जाम्स है ना लाइक सम ऑफ यू माइट बी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर स्लैट एंड ऑल ठीक है so subscribe to our channel so whenever we'll be putting a video about this last lab series uh, you will get the notification so niche subscribe ka button is ko daba do okay uh, then uh, here is the editorial these four are the articles diplomacy with a change in terms of reference uh, it has been written by hamid ansari he is an ex ifs officer indian foreign service officer and ex vice president of india okay so he is also a foreign service officer former foreign service officer Uh, he is writing this article regarding diplomacy, है ना? Um, diplomacy, you understand, है ना? Um, regarding the interaction uh, means the this deals with what is diplomacy? Deals with uh, interaction of nations, uh, interaction of country with rest of the world, है ना? So how to interact with other nations? How to interact with at United Nations and with other? इंटरनेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक वर्ल्ड बैंक एडीबी एंड ऑल सो दैट इज द आइडिया ऑफ डिप्लोमेसी तो आप जानते होंगे है ना सो ही इज राइटिंग मेडिएशन इज रेयरली अ स्पॉन्टेनियस एक्ट मोर ऑफ एंड देन नॉट इट इज प्रिसीडेड बाय क्वाइट एफर्ट्स टू सीक अ मीटिंग पॉइंट बिटवीन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट व्यू पॉइंट्स ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके सो ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट मेडिएशन मेडिएशन मतलब क्या होता है इस सब आपको पता होगा बट स्टिल आई एम टेलिंग यू ओके व्हेन टू पार्टीज आर देयर दिस इज पार्टी 1 party i am not saying ki political party party means it can be an individual an organization a country or all and both are not having good terms theek hai do party hai dono ke andar bahut ache terms nahi hai relation nahi hai so the third party comes the third party comes and try to reduce the differences between the two hai na so here we say ki the third party is acting as a mediator तो जानते हो कि आप लोग अगर दो आद, दो आदमी में थोड़ा मतलब बनी ठीक से नहीं है बातचीत नहीं ठीक है तो तीसरा आदमी आके उसको सॉल्व करा देता है उसको हम लोग मेडिएटर कहते हैं राइट सो सिमिलरली हेयर एक्चुअली ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस ऑन मार्च 10 ट्वेंटी एक्चुअली इन अ ज्वाइंट स्टेटमेंट ऑन मार्च टेन बाई ईरान सऊदी अरब एंड चाइना सेटिंग एट अ टेबल इन द शेप ऑफ एन आईसो सेलिस्ट ट्राइंगल द थ्री कंट्रीज अनाउंसड दैट एन अग्रीमेंट हैज बीन रीच बिटवीन द किंगडम ऑफ सऊदी अरब इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक ऑफ ईरान कवरिंग द डिप्लोमेटिक रिलेशन एंड ऑल Uh, देखो आई होप यू आर अवेर सो हेर इज सऊदी अरबिया एंड हेर इज ईरान सो इफ यू सी द रिसेंट हिस्ट्री द रिलेशन बिटवीन टू इज नॉट वेरी कंसिडर्ड एज वेरी गुड जनरली इंटरनेशनल लेवल पर बहुत अच्छा नहीं समझा जाता है मतलब उतना अच्छा रिलेशन नहीं था देर आर लॉट ऑफ रीजन ओके वी आर नॉट गोइंग इन डिटेल की वॉट वेर द रीजन एंड ऑल बट रिसेंटली वी हैव सीन अ चाइना एक्चुअली एक्टिंग एज अ मेडिएटर इन Uh, actually uh, improving the relationship between saudi arabia and iran okay to isme likha na hai ki they were sitting on an isosceles triangle to aisa isosceles matlab jiska do side equal also something like that hai na so maybe a chinese uh, leader is here and then chain chinese official is here iran official is here and saudi official is here sitting on a table and talking and all theek hai so that is what you can see these are the photos uh, this is the iran official uh, chinese official and saudi arab official together hai na so a chinese broker deal appends with his diplomacy and challenges us and all theek hai is tarah ke new york times mein article bhi aayi thi ki these things might challenge hai na us and all uh, okay so they are trying to reopen their embassies so um, most likely so iran would be opening the embassy in uh, riyadh there is riyadh the capital and maybe the saudi arabia would be opening the capital in uh, opening the embassy in yahan pe tehran hai na so tehran here is riyadh so both will be opening each other embassy in their capital and right? so they will be sending their ambassadors and all so that is called uh, setting up of embassy and all so improving diplomatic relations and right? or setting up diplomatic relations by exchanging ambassadors and all and ek dusre ke apna apna ambassador bhejenge embassy qaim karenge kholenge and all and that is what is being talked about here uh, the agreement upon the respect for the sovereignty of states non interference in the internal affairs of the states and uh, the said minister at sir and all बस वही सब बात हो रही सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया नथिंग टू एक्सप्लेन मोर नाउ दिस अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू सिंस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ईरान एंड सऊदी अरबिया व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द वाटर बॉडी बिटवीन ईरान एंड सऊदी अरबिया हियर ऑप्शंस आर अरेबियन सी पर्शियन गल्फ रेड सी मेडिटेरेनियन सी आप बताओ व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन सी दिस इज एक्चुअली द फोटो ऑफ दैट ठीक है 
और ये एक्चुअली कोई दुबई की शायद बिल्डिंग है कोई इट्स अ बिल्डिंग सम फेमस बिल्डिंग ऑफ दुबई एंड द वाटर इज एक्चुअली बिलोंगिंग टू द वाटर बॉडी व्हिच इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन बताओ क्या सही जवाब है व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर ईरान एंड सऊदी अरब के बीच जो वाटर बॉडी है उसका नाम क्या है आई हैव जस्ट शोन यू इन द मैप थोड़ा देर पहले मैंने दिखाया था uh yes param khoj is right very good uh the right answer to this question is persian gulf so b is the right answer to this question or two is the right answer theek hai kuch log arabian sea kuch log red sea bata rahe but the right answer is only one person has answered me correctly so here it is aap dekho here is iran here is saudi arab and this is persian gulf theek hai arabian sea to yahan hai to ye kaise hoga red sea yahan par hai here is red sea okay so neither red sea here is red sea so red sea cannot be the answer here is iran and here is saudi arab so this is persian gulf aur yahan par arabian sea hai okay yes so the right answer is b is the right answer to this question yes aksa kalam you are right to is the right answer so persian gulf hai yahi pe aapko dubai wagara milega you ahi hai na yahi aapko dubai wagara milega theek hai okay to ye bhi persian gulf pe padta to ye jo photo hai na this is actually the photo of some building of dubai and all okay yes सो यस इरानियन नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजर वॉज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट तो ये इरानियन एन एस ए वॉज प्रेजेंट सो दैट इज वॉट ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द ऑथर इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ठीक है कमेंट्री इन इरानियन न्यूज पेपर ऑन मार्च इलेवन डिपेक्टेड इवेंट वन एग्रीमेंट एंड सेवन अचीवमेंट एंड ऑल सो दैट इज वॉट इज बींग टॉक्ड अबाउट हेयर की ऑफकोर्स देखो इसमें एक चीज और आपको पता होना चाहिए कि एक्चुअली मेनी फॉरन पॉलिसी एक्सपर्ट बिलीव दैट यू एस ट्राई टू एक्चुअली कॉर्नर इट है ना और टू इंश्योर दैट यू कैन से ईरान शुड नॉट बी आई मीन और दिस वर्ड इज बेस्ट टू यूज है ना दैट यूएस ट्राई टू आइसोलेट ईरान आइसोलेट मतलब क्या होता है अकेला कर देना सो द फॉरन पॉलिसी एक्सपर्ट से इज यूएस वॉन्टेड दैट नो वन शुड बी डूइंग ट्रेड विथ ईरान ईरान शुड रिमेन आइसोलेटेड बट दिस हैज नॉट हैपन If you are seeing Iran is having uh, good terms with China, in fact, good terms with India as well, and now Iran is having relation with Saudi Arabia and all, right? So that is what actually uh, this is what they are saying. They are talking about, in fact, JCPOA, Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. So there is a question for you. Uh, JCPOA, that's called as Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, also known as Iran Deal, was signed between a U.S. President uh, Dash. and was abrogated by dash your options are george bush and barack obama barack obama donald trump donald trump joe biden none of the above your time starts now batao in whose presidentship jcpoa or iran deal was signed and in whose presidentship it was abrogated matlab cancelled uh, by us what is the right answer waiting for the answers who was the president when iran deal or jcpoa joint comprehensive plan of action was signed kya sahi jawab okay i haven't got the right answer and i'm waiting for the rights i was expecting you all to answer uh, but yes uh, yes param khoj is right the right answer is option 2 or b barack obama and donald trump so it was signed during barack obama and it was abrogated or cancelled during donald trump donald trump was extremely against iran deal i hope ye to aapko pata hoga yes b is the right answer na jcpoa was signed in 2015 when obama was the president of usa so it was actually p5 plus 1 agreement kehte hain isko hum p5 plus 1 okay china france germany iran russia uk us which has withdrawn and european union hai na so uh, actually it was withdrawn by usa in 2018 donald trump withdrew it In fact, he had criticized many times JCPOA, Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, which is also called as Iran Deal. So go and read something about JCPOA or Iran Deal. थोड़ा सा आप पढ़िएगा इसको, ठीक है? Go and read it. So that is what is being talked about. The US tried to isolate Iran by cancelling JCPOA or Iran Deal, but still it was not successful. यहाँ लिखा है ना उसी की बात हो रही है ना? Now, ठीक है? That is what it says. Okay, let's move on further. Uh, then. A commentary in Iranian newspaper on March 11 depicted the event as one agreement and seven achievement. है ना ये तो मैंने बता दिया है ना failure of US efforts to show Iranian public that it has no choice but to agree on JCPOA with America and all. ठीक है. 
okay uh, then uh, chinese official newspaper this is the official government newspaper of china uh, the china's diplomacy as a major uh, power is uh, just getting started so they said of course uh, they said i mean the global times which is a chinese official newspaper that china's diplomacy is just getting started and all because china was the mediator uh, in iran and uh, between iran and saudi arab okay this is a pata hona chahiye basic idea us reaction apart from unconceived surprise reflected the change in terms of reference international diplomacy equally surprised was israel the other player in the region and all okay so us and israel were surprised because both are actually considered generally uh, having not good relation with iran okay israel or us ka generally acha relation nahi hai iran se just have an idea about that theek hai is is ki baat ho rahi hai isme ab aap zyada detail mein jana nahi hai no need to go much in detail hai na Uh, one commentator said China brought Saudi Arab together with Iran at a time when Israel had hoped that US would bring it together with Saudi Arab. Okay, yes. Uh, a commentator ne ye kaha ki there was plan actually to bring Saudi Arab and Israel together. Okay, with the help of USA. But what actually happened in practical terms is US Saudi Arab has been brought closer with Iran with the help of China. Okay, is it clear? तो होना ये चाहिए था लेकिन हो गया ये दैट इज व्हाट दे आर सेइंग ओके सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट ओके दैट इज व्हाट इज बीइंग टॉक्ड अबाउट है ना एंड द बैकड्रॉप टू द इवेंट इज नोट वर्दी बायलेटरल एफर्ट्स हैव बीन अंडरवे सिंस 2016 एंड ऑल तो ये पहले से भी कोशिश की जा रही थी सो द एफर्ट्स वेयर आई मीन देयर वेयर एफर्ट्स सिंस 2015 टू सॉल्व द डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन द सऊदी अरब एंड ईरान एंड ऑल है ना uh then here actually the term gulf cooperation council is also being mentioned so there's a question for you which of the following is not a member of gulf cooperation council your options are saudi arabia iran bahrain uae what is the right answer to this question not a member of gcc gulf cooperation council kya sahi jawab hai okay so the word gulf is actually derived perhaps from the persian gulf only jo pani hai na the water between iran or the and saudi arab the uh, sea or whatever you can say yes so iran is not a member of it yes two is the right answer param khoj is right very good param khoj you are answering it uh, correctly today so yes so here is persian gulf mostly countries around it are actually members of persian gulf except iran theek hai if you see it carefully ये पर्शियन गल्फ है तो इसके अराउंड जो जो कंट्री है कुवैत सऊदी अरब बहरैन कतर यूएई ओमान दीज ऑल आर मेंबर्स ऑफ पर्शियन गल्फ एक्सेप्ट ईरान ईरान इज नॉट अ मेंबर ऑफ पर्शियन गल्फ ठीक है ओके जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया अबाउट इट ठीक है ना सो द राइट आंसर इज टू और बी इज द राइट आंसर यस प्रगति यू ऑल आर राइट द नेक्स्ट वन ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इज इन दिसंबर लास्ट ईयर अ समिट हैपेंड first china arab state summit happened okay this also you should be knowing where actually chinese president was also uh, present here so for the first time you can say ye pehla meeting hua tha sir with chinese and arab states so arab league members there were 21 members to dekho arab league kya main batata hu so this actually countries these countries are actually called as arab leagues because uh, here arabic language is spoken okay तो यहाँ पे बना हुआ है ना तो सऊदी अरब यमन ओमान देन इराक इजिप्ट लीबिया अल्जेरिया सो हेयर द अरब लैंग्वेज अरबिक लैंग्वेज इज स्पोकन सो दीज दे हैव मेड देयर ओन अरब लीग सो दीज अरब लीग नेशंस हैड अ मीटिंग विद पीपल्स रिपब्लिक ऑफ चाइना और चाइना हेड ऑफ द स्टेट है ना सो मीन्स यू कैन सी दाइनीज प्रेजिडेंट इज ऑल्सो पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दिस एंड दिस हैपन लास्ट ईयर इन दिसंबर इन द कैपिटल ऑफ सऊदी अरब रियाद ओके so that is what is talking about the author is talking about here as well okay so just have an idea about it and the theme was building on past achievements and jointly creating a brighter future of china gcc relation that is what you should be knowing it okay yes guys everyone please uh, press the like button guys sabko like button press karte jao everyone and subscribe to the channel sabko like button press kar do 20 25 plus likes le jao everyone yes Uh, the speech laid on five priority areas so in that summit the speech talked about energy cooperation finance and investment cooperation innovation science and technology etc and all theek hai yahi sab ki baat hui ab aap samajh gaye mota moti cheez hai na just have a basic idea about it ek cheez aur pad lena we have discussed so many times about belt and road initiative this is very 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 important this is an initiative of china so it is very 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 important okay so go and read about it 
uh, it will be very very beneficial india's reaction to this development has been restrained and all so isi bhi ab jaan lena dekho india is having good relation with iran as well as saudi arab okay uh, i hope you are aware we have made chabahar port here chabahar port is a related question was asked in glad 2021 and so we are having good relation with iran second in fact we are having good relation with saudi arab also uh, a lot of indians do go there for job purpose hai na bahut sare log saudi arab jaate hain job karne ke liye indians and yes we are import, importing a lot of oils and all tel wagara we import karte hain na in fact uae is also very good destination and all so in fact we are having good good relation with both the nations hai na to dono mein से हम लोग का रिलेशन अच्छा है ठीक है सो यस वी हैव टू बी वेरी कॉशियस इन कमेंटिंग ऑन दिस इश्यूज एंड ऑल बस यही सब है ठीक है ओके वी आर डन विद दिस वन एक साइड में आर्टिकल थी वी आर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन विद दिस क्या थी कैमस केस मर्डर ऑफ थी कैमर एंड ऑल सो दैट इज वॉट इज बिंग टॉक अबाउट दैट दिस इज एक्चुअली द ओपिनियन दिस रिप्रेजेंट द ओपिनियन ऑफ द हिंदू एडिटर्स ओके बिकॉज दीज आर ऑथरलेस आर्टिकल so they are talking about yes uh, there should be maintenance of law and order and all in the state and all that is what is being talked about and uh, uh, the uh, he had expressed that uh, he had approached supreme court earlier might be killed in encounter and all so ye sab cheez tha he was earlier in samajwadi party and apna dal these were the two political parties he was earlier associated with theek hai so just have an idea nothing to do go more in detail about it according to the up police 183 alleged criminals have been gunned down in encounters in the last 6 years okay so just have an idea about it Uh, from a legal point of view, this is a question for you. Uh, which of the following judgment of Supreme Court laid down guidelines regarding encounters? Okay, since encounters is very much in the news, you should be knowing it. Your options are uh, Common Cause versus Union of India case, uh, PUCL versus State of Maharashtra, ADR versus Union of India. None of the above. Your time starts now. कौन सा judgment है जो कि encounters related है? Guidelines, detailed guidelines regarding encounters. What is the right answer? So the right answer to this question is a uh, uh, PUCL versus State of Maharashtra case 2014 talks about uh, the guidelines regarding encounter you can see okay so that is what it says okay so pura detail supreme court ne bataya hai ki if the encounter happens then uh, of course uh, what uh, should be the uh, uh, actually uh, what the police should be doing how the inquiry should be set up and all so usse related detail cheez hai ठीक है सो टू इज द राइट आंसर एक पता होना चाहिए इसलिए कि पीयूसीएल वाला केस काइबर न्यूज में आ रहा अभी यस रितिका तिवारी रघुनाथ प्रिया चवन यू वाला राइट टू इज द राइट आंसर ओके यस द नेक्स्ट वन इज ये वाला एक साइड वाला आर्टिकल है जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया नॉट अ वेसल ब्लोअर 2023 पेंटागन लीक्स सी व्हाट इज पेंटागन पेंटागन इज एक्चुअली अ बिल्डिंग और अ प्लेस वेयर यू विल फाइंड द डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूएसए ओके यूएस के डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री आपको मिलेगी वहां देखो दिस इज दर्ड क्वार्टर ऑफ यूएस डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डिफेंस इन वर्जीनिया ओके अक्रॉस द पोटोमैक रिवर फ्रॉम वॉशिंगटन डीसी तो वॉशिंगटन डीसी के पास पेंटागन है दिस इज एक्चुअली द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूएसए नाउ वाइट वॉज इन द न्यूज बिकॉज अ गाय कॉल जैक टेक्सेरा ही इज हार्डली अ ट्वेंटी वन ईयर ओल्ड गाई एंड ही लीग्ड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन लीग्ड इंपॉर्टेंट information regarding russia ukraine war us strategy in russia ukraine war so this got released and of course it was actually an embarrassment and all so the pentagon was that was leaked on social media in recent months which analysts say has exposed sensitive data regarding the war efforts in ukraine potentially undermining kiev's plan to push back russian invasion and all so that is why it was very much in the news ispe bhi detail nahi jana hai but just have a basic idea that why was pentagon in the news and all the top secret files that were first leaked on social media website discord and 4chan so these are social media site in which this got leaked in march this year also caused a flutter for the joe biden administration when it revealed confidential and unflattering information about us allies theek hai to isme bahut sari confidential information leak ho gayi so that is why it was in the news okay uh, so these are the articles coming in top secret us documents leaked what the reveal about russia ukraine war okay okay so just have an idea about that okay yes dekho isme jaise bbc ka article 11 document on 23 march refers to the presence of a small number of western special forces operating inside ukraine so western special forces 
were sent inside the Ukraine. So that is what the document reveals. Uh, so uh, from UK, 50 people from UK, 17 from uh, Latvia, then France, US and Netherlands. So officials from here were also there uh, inside the Ukraine and all. So this is all about this, I don't want to go into detail, but have an idea about it. Okay, yes, here is Ukraine, here is Russia. I hope you are aware for the past one and a half year, the Russia and Ukraine uh, are in wars and all. Okay, so just have an idea about that. Uh, then uh, text and context make article thi on democratizing tiger conservation. Yes, for the past one week, we are seeing the news of tiger conservation and all. I hope you are aware, right? Anna. So, there's a question for you, which state is having the highest number of tigers in India? Your options are Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh. Batao. Sab koi like button press karte jau, guys. Everyone, please press the like button, guys. Highest number of tigers in India, kaha milenge aapko? Yes, Param Khoj, very good. The right answer is uh, Madhya Pradesh. Actually, dono kafi nazdik hai. This is having 526 and this is having 524, I think. So, uh, the right answer is D, Madhya Pradesh. Yes, Param Khoj, Pragati, you all are right. D is the right answer to this question. Madhya Pradesh is having the highest number of tigers in India. Now, another question is, uh, since we are talking about NTCA, National Tiger Conservation Authority, it is a statutory body under Environment Protection Act, Wildlife Protection Act, Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act, Zoological Act. Your time starts now. National Tiger Conservation Authority. It is responsible for protecting tiger. Not only tiger, abhi recently cheetah introduced kiya gaya hai, na? So reintroduction of cheetah from Namibia and South Africa has been done and NTCA is responsible for those stuffs also. Hai, to tiger as well as cheetah ke liye bhi, hai. So it's a statutory body under which act? Yes, Param Khoj, Ritika Tiwari, Pragati, Priya Chavan, you are right. The Wildlife Protection Act was passed in 1972, later on amended, I think in 2006, which gave the idea of NTCA. Okay. Amended in 2006 to provide for constituting NATCA, National Tiger Conservation Authority, okay, for implementation of Project Tiger. So, Project Tiger was started on 1st April 1973. Uh, recently, we have celebrated how many years? 50 years, na? 50 years, so we celebrated. Uh, the 50 years of Project Tiger and uh, National Tiger Conservation Authority was given statutory status in 2006. So, it is a what body? So, it is a statutory body, means it is a result of a parliamentary law. Okay, so just have an idea about that. Uh, let's move on further, page number 12. G7 ministers commit to work for carbon free electricity by 2035. Uh, so, now before that, there's a question. This year, G7 summit is going to happen where? So, G7 countries, uh, ke logo ne ka, I mean the members, they have committed by 2035. There will be carbon free electricity, means they will be using renewable source of electricity. Anna? So, renewable source includes like solar energy, wind energy, etc. and all. So, they will not be using carbon, like uh, coal will not be used, uh, natural gas will not be used, these things will not be used, which will cause emission and all. This year G7 summit is going to happen in USA, India, Japan, Canada. What is the right answer? Yes, very good. Param Khoj, very good. Iska matlab aapne achche se newspaper padha hai. You have read the newspaper properly. Uh, so Param Khoj is right. C is the right answer. Uh, there is a place called as Hiroshima in Japan. And Hiroshima is uh, actually uh, was uh, actually the victim of uh, atom bomb which was dropped by USA. I hope you are aware of that on 6th August 1945. So the right answer is C. Yes, Priya Chavan, Ritika Tiwari, Pragati, Panchadi, you all are right. C is the right answer. Okay. And so this was actually uh, the climate energy ministers. They met, the G7 ministers of climate energy ministers met and talked, said key by 2035. We will be ensuring carbon free electricity. It means we will be producing electricity not for, from coal or natural gas or from any carbon source, rather from a uh, renewable source. Anna. And I hope you are aware of uh, Hiroshima, Hiroshima summit. Aap dekh sakte ho par. Anna. If you see it carefully, holding the G, uh, G7 uh, Hiroshima summit will be held from 17 to 19th May in Hiroshima. Hai? So just have an idea about it. And where is Hiroshima? Uh, this, this is Japan. And here you will find Hiroshima here. Okay. okay, yes. 
Okay, uh, the next one is world page where there was an article 61 dead after clash between Sudan army and rivals inter second day. Yes, this is also very important news. I mean, uh, this is actually very surprising to see. First of all, can you tell me Sudan is uh, uh, is in which continent? Kon se continent mein? Can anyone tell me? In which continent you will find Sudan? Look, actually, hua kya hai? Uh, the Sudanese military and a powerful paramilitary group battled for control of the chaos stricken nation for a second day, signaling they were unwilling to end hostilities despite mounting diplomatic pressure to cease fire and all. Okay, now what has happened is, uh, uh, this is quite, I mean, uh, surprising. Yes, uh, it is actually in Africa. Yes, very good, Param Koj. Uh, so, here is India. This is Africa continent and here you will find Sudan. What is the capital of Sudan? The capital is Khartoum. Okay, just have an idea about that. Okay. Ah, Sudan, which is in Africa, the capital Khartoum. Mein. Now, why it was in the news? See, it is very surprising to see this. Uh, this is the armed force or army of Sudan and ra rapid support forces. This is the paramilitary force of uh, Sudan. So, paramilitary force. And this is army of Sudan. And you will be surprised to know that actually both are uh, fighting each other. I mean, the army of a country is fighting a paramilitary force. They are killing each other. I mean, this is extremely surprising to see this. You understood it? The paramilitary force is like, it's not complete army, but it is between police or army. Like, for example, in India, very similar, like CRPF, CISF can be considered as equivalent to that, uh, to, uh, to paramilitary force and all. And army is army. So, uh, this is actually... Uh, uh, that is what is happening. So you can see a, power, a powerful military group here. Push the rapid support forces is the force of which country? Okay, so that is Sudan's paramilitary force and all. So heavy fighting involved armor, vehicle, truck machine and all. So apas mein hi ladai kar rahe. So that is what you should be knowing. At least five civilians were killed and seventy-eight wounded on Sunday. Then baad mein dekho. Abhi tak sixty-one dead to aara total. So that is why you should be knowing it. Now the uh, yes, you can see Indian national dies. Usi clashes mein ek Indian nationals ka bhi death ho gaya. Ek Bharat ke nagrik ka bhi. And then it says Indians in Khartoum asked to stay indoors. Khartoum is the capital of Sudan. So Indian embassy have informed the Indians that please do not come out of uh, uh, out of houses. Apne ghar se bar nahi nikliye. Isliye ki aap dekh sakte ho scene aisa hai. So the paramilitary force is fighting with the army. Okay. So if these things are happening, uh, gunshots are uh, happening and all. So in that case, of course, it is safe to remain inside or indoors. Uh, uh, so that is why it was in the news uh, now since we are talking about sudan there's a question who is the head of sudan right now your options are omar al bashir bashar al assad abdul fatta al burhan none of the above your time starts now but now kya si jawab hai So actually, Sudan was in the news because of, uh, because of uh, I mean, uh, in 2019 because of Sudan's um, military revolution and all, the Sudanese revolution and all. So earlier, uh, a long, very long serving, serving president was Bashar al uh, Omar al Bashar. Bashar al Assad is from Syria, the president of Syria, and he was there for very long term, and he was then removed, I think, two three years back. Then Abdul Fattah al Burhan is actually yes, he is the right answer. Param Khoj, Raghunath, Priya. Rajvardhan Pragati, you all are right. So he is considered as chairman of transition, transitional sovereign council. Uh, he is not officially the president, but for all practical purpose, he is the head of the country. Okay. So just have an idea about it. Uh, is a Sudanese army general who is de facto ruler of Sudan following the Sudanese revolution. So the revolution happened in Sudan in April 2019. And after that, he is actually in charge of that. And before that, he was Omar al Bashir was actually the uh, president for many years. So just have an idea about Omar al Bashir also. So here the right answer is option C. Okay, just have an idea. Yes, you can see about Sudanese revolution and all, uh, in which actually Omar al Bashir was removed and all. So it's both a detailed history. Achha, ek aur I want to know. Uh, just uh, there's a there's a Somewhere here you will find Khartoum, the capital of Sudan. Now it is famous, why? Because two famous rivers meets to join, meets to join a very famous river, to, to make a very famous river. What is the name of that river? 
दो बहुत मशहूर रिवर है वो मिलती है और एक काफी मशहूर रिवर यहाँ पर बनती है इन खारतूम वट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट रिवर ओके आई एम मेकिंग द मैप ऑल्सो इट समिंग लाइक दिस आई एम मेकिंग अर ऑफ ए स्केच Another river comes like this. Then it meets in Khartoum, goes like this, and falls in Mediterranean Sea. So this one, the West uh, West Nile, it is called. And White Nile, we call it White Nile. This one is called as Blue Nile. So Blue Nile starts from Ethiopian highland. White Nile starts from here. Actually, Vic, uh, Victoria Lake, na. Okay. Yes. Both meets in the capital of Sudan, called as Khartoum. then it forms nile river in egypt uh, which goes to mediterranean sea and why is nile river very famous longest river in the world na i hope you are aware of this na yes nile river and number of tab has answered it correctly so nile is very famous because it is uh, the longest river of the world and uh, yes is par ek dam bhi bahut famous aswan dam aapne naam suna hoga ye bhi kahin pe it is being constructed aswan dam is being constructed on in egypt and all theek okay. hai so just have an idea about it uh, because yes uh, these things are in the news so khartoum se ho sakta sawal puch de so just have an idea um, i am suggesting you to read something about omar al bashir uh, this is the homework go and read about it and read something about sudanese revolution thoda se isko aap ja kar ke pad lena because yes sudan is in the news so they can ask it again okay so this is all about today's class Please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, and download the Byju's Exam Prep app. So thank you, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, guys. Today at 6 p.m. on our app. So download the app Byju's Exam Prep app. Okay. Go to class section. Today at 6 p.m. I'll be covering the important questions related with polity, constitution. गवर्नेंस एटसेट्रा ओके सो डू फॉलो मी देयर इट विल बी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर लेट से अपकमिंग एम एच सी टी स्लैट जामिया और एनी अदर एग्जाम सो पॉलिटी सेक्शन से क्वेश्चन पूछूंगा सो दैट वुड बी बेनिफिशियल सो डाउनलोड द एप गो टू क्लैट सेक्शन एंड आई विल बी मीटिंग विट फ्री सेक्शन एट सिक्स पी एम ठीक है ओके सो थैंक यू एवरी वन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग नाइल बी मीटिंग यू एट सिक्स पी एम एवर नाइस डे